One of the things we can see a difference in people's lives, one of the ways we can tell there's a difference in people's lives is if they move in a way that is not logical. It ought not be something that is always in the mind. If we are led of the Spirit of God, then we really never know what's going to happen next. And the way we watch Jesus operate with all the people he interacted with is that he never acted the same. He always seemed to be operating on an extremely deep level of understanding. Sometimes he was so merciful and other times he was so strict and there was always a reason behind it and he could always answer those reasons logically, but we don't have that logic. God does. And that's why we have to be led of the spirit of God and he by his spirit will lead us in a way that is true and in scriptural and being sound in our doctrine and sound in our conscience and our everything. It is amazing to see the way Jesus handles everybody and they all come out knowing something of absolute reality. When you see people who are taking scripture and they see the mercy of Jesus and then they want to offer that mercy of Jesus to everybody, that is not being led by the spirit. That is being led by the letter. For those that want to offer love and understanding to everybody, that is not how Jesus operated. He operated by the spirit. That's still by the letter and it's still logical. It's by emotion. Though the people who are very analytical and they operate in their minds, this is not how Jesus operated either. He knew what was going on on the very deep level and knew exactly what to do every single time because he was led of the spirit of God. Without measure, he had the Holy Spirit. He only did what his father was doing. He was not normal the way he operated. When you see people who take the hard scriptures and all they ever use is hard scriptures and, and pounce everybody else, this is not how Jesus op operated at all. This is also not Christ-like. All love and no, and no, um, no, no uh, mercy, no, no strong talk. <clears throat> all strong talk and no mercy. Um, none, neither of these. It's never about strong or soft. It's all by the Holy Spirit. The scriptures are there, but without the Holy Spirit, you cannot interpret the scriptures and you're not using them properly. The whole, the whole point is that we're led of the Spirit. We're like children who know nothing. He, he, he ignores the learned and he gives his grace and glory to the, to the unlearned and the babes. To those who know they're nothing, those who know they're not qualified, those that don't measure up on, on everything. They don't love good enough and they don't obey good enough but they are like just children and they obey him. God is the only one who knows where we are actually at and what we actually need. You have nobody who knows. I know nobody knows the next word that a person needs to have except God. There's no way in this universe you could possibly know what the next word for a person is except God. Only he could know. And if he does not reveal it to you in the instant, then you didn't do your job right. You're only operating in your mind. And this is good, but it's not everything. And everything is how Jesus did operate. If we're going to operate like Jesus, we're going to operate by that I didn't know what was going to happen until it happened. It was in the moment. It was in the living moment. It was the living spirit of God. We didn't see where it come. We didn't see where it go, but we saw the changes happening and we all knew it was the Lord. The Calvinist, the Arminian, the atheist, and the backslider, the lukewarm, and all the naysayers, they all looked at that and said, and now said, now that is the Lord. 